Hello, Ati Bing here um, from Canada again. Um, today I have to go to my therapist just to take a walk, and I'll show I'll show you there are lots of nice flowers at my back here, over there. It's a beautiful day, and um, I just take a walk. Uh, to my therapist today and I'm bringing my backpack because I don't carry I have to bring water and my smoothie is there <laughs> anyway um, yeah so this is one thing uh, I'm doing uh, I have to take a walk really um, that's a part of my exercise and also I still have to keep on going for my therapy until uh, you know I feel like much much more better you know but uh, thanks I could really you know I could walk at this time uh, but I uh, have so many issues that needs to be taken care of so yeah so that's why I still have to go but and then I always I always um, take a walk uh, especially this summertime I take a walk um, to going to my therapist because it's not really that far so it's a good exercise might as well walk right and uh, but the winter time is really really hard so I have I have to you know I don't walk Win winter time it's really hard okay guys yeah so I'm sh I'm sharing to you uh, my life experiences here um, it's not really easy when you get sick eh? um, you really have to take care of yourself uh, if you feel like pain in your body you have to really uh, address that right away and because I work really really hard like always working and you know it seems that there's no tomorrow uh, I have to really have to do this thing do that thing like that and you guys uh, we really have to have a break you know have some fun with family for all you guys who have family uh, and also hang it out with your friends because stress is one one big thing that could affect um, uh, our body you know it's very um, very uh, it's not really good uh, when you get so stressed and uh, you worry too much you know um, I was there before I worried uh, I where I gonna do what I gonna do but you know what guys when I was uh, sick and um, I could not really walk. Now I appreciate walking, you know. Um, when I cannot walk, I wish I could walk, right? <laughs> so funny. And uh, also I couldn't eat uh, like really hard food because I already have a autoimmune disorder very very bad so it's it's very very tough you know so but then when uh, you things like that do you really have to you know wake up every day and think what you're gonna do especially when your your medical provider is telling you oh um, you really just have to go pain clinic you know because I already have four surgeries and it's done. The first one is not that it's only up one year apart from another three surgeries, but the next three surgeries are very close, very close, like it's a matter of months only, you know. So that's why I was not able to, you know, my, my body was very, very weak at the time and I thought. I can't make it because the open uh, 
I have my abdomen surgery. I have, you know, the cut like seven times. You know, there are seven cuts in my abdomen. And it just to make take all those things out from my body. That was that was tough. That was tough. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. So it is. I I am. I mean, just would like to inspire you all that uh, when uh, when there is still a life and uh, there is always hope, and we just have to ask guidance from. Uh, wisdom and you know be open to because be open be open to what is happening in the world right because people are sending sending um, all the good vibes and be open to it or what is it and uh, there you may find this 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 is how I find um, I find um, strangers that turns to friends and now it turns to like as my family you know so um, it's really 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 uh, amazing uh, when you found uh, people real people who uh, share and give what is th there in their hands and um, you know uh, that could benefit others too. So I was lucky. Uh, uh, someone shared to me uh, some really good stuff that that makes me feel better. Who am I now? The, because I never thought I could make I could make it. You know, it's very hard. And if I have to continue to take my drugs, it will it will continue ruin my. You know. We will continue rowing my uh, body. Yeah, because the drugs are so strong. And uh, my body cannot cope up if I have to continue that one. I could feel it already and it's very tough. But anyhow, I am crossing the street here. Oh my God. It's hot here, guys. Um, it's really hot. More than 30 degrees. But uh, yeah, so... It's hard, <coughs> excuse me, it's really hard. And now I have to go the tour this way. I think it takes only 20 minutes, more than 20 minutes to take a walk. But anyhow, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it because <coughs> that is the street that I have to pass by. But after that, I have to go across and have a shortcut. Sorry. <coughs> Going to my therapy and yeah, it's quiet at the back, so I have to go at the back <coughs> where there are lots of residents here. Because in, on the street, it's so noisy. Really, really noisy. But anyhow, I would like to wear this one because I feel like really the sun is very, you know. Okay, there you go. It's better like that. Alright guys, so yeah, uh, I would like to tell you all, um, take care of yourself and uh, drink lots of water and uh, choose the right food to eat and we cannot blame others what is really happening to us because only us is in control of our own body. So what we put on our body could really affect, you know, how our body respond on it. So everything in moderation, take in everything in moderation, not too much, not too less. And everything should be all right. And most of all, we have all the reasons to live, to this universe if we are kind to ourselves and then we can be kind to others too so if we love ourselves then we can love others it's not easy because we are just all all just <coughs> humans right 
we are all humans and we fall to we have all mistakes but you know our mistakes also could make us grow so take it easy every day guys like we just don't hold on things that is already done because that could never come back only we can get a lesson from it but things will never come back and you know forgiving also is very important and uh, because if we don't forgive and we, we cannot you know we don't forgive ourselves as well and we cannot move on you know it's hard to move on uh, if you don't really forgive yourself something like that yeah so yeah guys um it's around ten, past 10 o'clock here in toronto it's hot today and i'm still walking going to my therapist but it's really good it's a good exercise for me i'm having this look i'm wearing backpack <laughs> yeah so but then it's it's really beautiful there it's nice I have to take a walk yeah and there are lots of flowers here and uh, you don't feel bored walking because flowers are beautiful I'll show you some here lots of flowers and Canada Day just passed I think six days ago and their flag they're still on <laughs> there's are they're still putting their flag outside their house so yeah it's beautiful here so yeah, there is a flower beautiful flower here I love that flower it's beautiful eh and uh, there is a there is a flag over there look <laughs> it's a huge flag yeah so lots of flowers it's it's really nice and I show you there is another flower here it's very beautiful um, it climbs to the the wall of the house and uh, it's so pretty and your house is there the flowers and it's quiet here guys you know I love to walk here and it's quiet here there's still flag there but yeah. Canada Day did you have to take their flags out from the house this is how they celebrate their Canada Day like in the Philippines but you know in our province before when I was young you know uh, I think we are not putting the flags out we celebrate but here is very very you know big thing that we have to bring their flag out from the house yeah so okay guys I took out my sunglass again because I can't see but I I don't know where is the house I am showing you the house oh there is the one but oh, the the flower is already yeah you know um the flower is not that much anymore but before when i came here it's beautiful oh, there, there. Yeah, the flower is and oh lords lordy yeah, i love that flower that was lots of flower before um, yeah, the lavender and the bottom it's beautiful so it's really nice here I love to walk and all the way along. I'm almost there in my therapist place you know but yeah guys oh god I find it like I am sweating this time before I don't know I I just walk very very slow it's hard to lift my hand my my feet and now I could enjoy walking already and it's beautiful it's beautiful really and they have the trees there trees and the trees are beautiful over there I love 
the trees there. Yeah, the Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm all missed there, guys. Thanks for walking with me all. All of you, thank you. And he is watering the plants over there. He's watering the plants. Yeah. Because it's really hot here, you know. Very hot. And lots of nice flowers over there. I love their flowers. So beautiful. The trees. Yeah. It's really really nice. It's here. There's a shade so I feel good. <laughs> the breeze is so good. <laughs> oh god. And uh yeah, I'm almost in my therapist place. And there are also few people are walking. Nadamas. Most are just driving, you know. <laughs> Oh my goodness, thank God I could walk back again. That's why I, I really appreciate walking at this time when you when you lost a thing and That's how re you really appreciate it, you know, and When I was not able to walk I wish I could walk so now that I could walk I really have to walk <laughs> Right guys, uh, you won't appreciate things until they're gone right and then you wish it would come back thankfully um, I was able to walk back again <laughs> oh god it's so beautiful it's amazing God is great guys um, he works in a mysterious way um, he sent a lot of angels to us you know angels are not unseen they are seen they are people people are sent uh, sent us by God to oh uh, you know to help us you know because it's him helping us he just manifest to other people he manifests to other people that's how he is helping us that's why God is alive, right? So God is with you guys and God is in, within me. Um, that's why when I was in bed, when I was not able to get up, like even one o'clock, I'm still lying in my bed. It's hard to move and I don't even eat because I don't even feel hungry. And I can't even eat. If I eat, then... I have to go washroom right away and it's really hard and uh, I would be dehydrated to just going back back and forth to the washroom I cannot even hold it you know that's how terrible was it that was but uh, but you know guys uh, you know God is really really great and uh, he is giving you wisdom to know what to do just ask him every day that's why when I when I wake up, um, and when I wake up every day, I just say, Lord, just help me today. Because today is the best day to do the thing, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow is only a promise. It's a promise only because we don't know what is tomorrow. When I was laying down, I said, I don't know if I could still wake up tomorrow. So I learned a lot how to live a life. Because I always worry. I have to work there and here and there work because I am worried. I'm worried what I can do for tomorrow. What can I do for the future? But the future is a promise. It doesn't mean that we don't have to think for what could be our tomorrows but we don't have to be worried too much because tomorrow is just a promise because you'll never know that when will be the end of our 
last breathing in this earth you know and when you are still breathing there is always hope with that one and when there is hope when you do something just embrace what is happening today and give thanks after when we go sleep and and uh, we'll just wish tomorrow we have another beautiful day you know but then when days are not really good to us there is a lesson always behind it there is a reason and when we look back that's how we could understand why it happens to us um, it happens to us everything for a reason um, I have to go across the street too everything happens for a reason right and um, it is it is hard sometimes you know especially when when the time that I could not really do anything at all uh, it's hard for me even to put a kettle in the and you know to boil a water I could hardly do that um, and I have to just pitch the water little by little to put in the kettle and then let it boil right so that's how terrible was that but then um, our body is designed really to move so if we just have to move every day just keep on moving you know our body is very special um, I God designs our body really more than any anything we are the most precious creation of the universe we have our brain works and it's really amazing when you think something because I got to the point that I cannot think already what to do like I have a very brain fog bad brain fog because of my disorder and I just open my eyes because there is I'm still breathing and I can see the Sun right and but I don't have any nothing um my mind I don't know it's pretty my mind is pretty empty you know I don't know what's going on I don't know what to do I don't know what's next nothing it's it's I don't know it's very weird you know that's why I said like I could still why I'm still bruising and I think uh, Lord I cannot take this anymore I just maybe just sleep but I'm still breathing but you know whenever we are afraid that uh, to take our life because we're still breathing and we are not the author of the life it's God so then I'll just ask him guide me um, like after one o'clock or two I really have to get up because I need to drink water I have to just move um, my therapist is telling me you really have to move because uh, if not then you can't move at all anymore <laughs> you know it's hard to move so I have to move and even to wiggle my feet my, and my hands are swelling and uh, my face and my jaw I can't eat now it's really hard I don't know it was awful but I, even I'm in, in pain I have to keep on going keep on going in in a way that I had to walk to move so that uh, my uh, blood will cir circulate you know because the circulation is really really poor already because of inflammation all over body and when your spine is really bad you know because I have osteoarthritis my spine my shoulder my hips my knee my hands it's swollen it's very painful pain all over body it's really really hard to move you know so yeah it was tough it was tough so now I I uh, thank God everything is already back to normal um, nothing is really I'm, I'm not really young anymore so I don't expect things to be perfect but guys I could wear my smile 
before I can not no matter how I try to smile because pain is intolerable it's really bad and if I have to continue the pain medication it hurts my internal organ and uh, it started to decline already so um, thankfully there is a very natural product that really helps so anyone who would love to know how did I recover anyone who would like to ask some more information I would really like to help you know here I am in my therapist place all right guys thank you for watching and don't forget okay. don't forget to subscribe and make a comment below and uh, yes and I am here this is the sister of I am here at my therapist place this is the sister of my uh, awesome doctor she is preparing food you know guys she is this I have I am so blessed I told you she is giving me food you know after I after my therapist and this is my awesome doctor I'm here already this is my awesome doctor hello here, here. My awesome doctor. Okay, I would like to ask you put the comment below how um, how young is my doctor? You know, you have to guess. You have to <laughs> guess, and if you can guess uh, here because it's dark. Okay. If you can guess, I will give you a prize. I promise. If you can guess, okay, guess, guys. Who can guess how young is my doctor? And put the comment below, and whoever whoever could guess. Um, I can give you uh, if you are back home in the Philippines I give you a lot I promise okay just put the comment below okay guys I love you all it's therapy time all right so goodbye Hello. goodbye bye. bye goodbye all oh, guys I'm here I'm always coming here every every uh, twice a week before it's three times a week and there's Bibing she is very busy oh my god she's busy look <laughs> Oh, there she is. And guys, do you know how young is she? You have to guess also. Oh my God. You, it's unbelievable. Look, look, look how young is she? Who can guess? Who can guess? Put a comment below and guess. Yes, yes. And this is my awesome doctor. It's therapy time, guys. I love you all. Okay? Please take good care of yourself. And I'll see you next time. Huwag mong kalimutan mag-subscribe. I love you all. Oh my goodness. Nah, bye na.